The great hornbill run was held today at the Inter Alcanti Stadium organized by Nagaland Athletics funded by the Tourism Department. The Athletic Federation of India provided te technical support. Speaking to Hornbill TV, the Joint Secretary of Nagaland Athletics, Ningunli Nakuro, said the great hornbill run was conceptualized to promote and create platforms for young athletics in the state and to promote sports and tourism. He asserted that the great hornbill run is organized with international standards following every rule that is required. He said that there will be a national cross-country championship next year in the month of January where the Nagaland contingent will also be participating. A total of 60 participants took part in the Great Hornbill Run in various categories. We are delighted that uh, you are joining us for the Great Hornbill Run. This run has got three categories and we are holding it uh, at this very nicely furnished Indira Gandhi Stadium, in which we have held so many events over the past months. The Great Hornbill Run has been conceptualized to promote and create a platform for the young athletes of our state. Today we have three categories, which is seniors, under 18 boys and girls, and under 16 boys and girls. We have Kept good prize money to encourage young people to participate, and today we have about uh, 60 participants participating in all the categories. And we are very happy to inform that they have turned up and the race is on in full swing. This initiative is done by the Nagalan Athletics, and we have technical guidance from the Athletic Federation of India. This race is being organized at uh, the national level standard and we are following every rule that is required and they will require when they compete at the northeast and the national games the great hornbill run has been conceptualized to promote the sport and also promote tourism we have seen that tourists also come in for different aspects and in this particular avenue also we have seen that there are tourists who are sports lovers and some of them have come to witness the show this morning. So this is the great Hornbill run and uh, we have uh, technical officials who are taking care of the event, ensuring that the timings and the procedures are rightfully followed. So this year itself, Nagaland Athletics has been quite busy. We have organized the South Asian Cross Country Championships, which is the first international sport which has taken place in Nagaland. Also simultaneously we conducted the 56th nationals also right here in the stadium of the cross country and it was very well taken by the public and very very well appreciated by the Athletic Federation of India on the conduct of the event and also the quality at which it was uh, executed. So now, after that, we have had the Nagaland Olympic Games where Nagaland Athletic participated and we came out with winning many medals. Simultaneously, we again went and competed in the national category. Although we could not win any medals, our young athletes became very emboldened and they got exposure at the national level and they got to know the rules and got to see the performances at the country level and they came back. Then we had the Northeast Olympic Games and in that, as you will already be aware, Nagaland Athletics brought in a lot of neighbor, uh, medals, almost about 40% of the total medal count. Nagaland has never performed so well in any one of the games. Now what I would like to say and just maybe share is, the athletes now have a very different perspective. Earlier, they used to take a very casual approach and come and participate for the sake of participating or maybe just winning. But now, after having conducted all these major events, we are able to see the difference in the athletes themselves. Even though we don't prompt them, they themselves are already practicing day in and day out on a monthly, two monthly basis just to participate in a race. Our coaching camps remain, but their own initiatives are much more. And we have also seen that there's a lot of excitement created among the young people to come and participate 
in part of the athletics. Now today we are only holding three races, but athletics has got short foot, javelin, high jump, long jump, and many more events. So we have seen that now athletics uh, athletes and the young people are more serious, and they have also seen the opportunities that some of our people have been getting. They have also seen the difference in the mindset and the practice regime that uh, these young people are going through. So this is one very positive change that we are seeing in our people and we would like that to continue. Next year also we have a lot of events lined up starting right from participation. Uh, the first event for the year would be the on the 8th of January we will have the National Cross Country uh, Championships. In senior men, L.R. Luther backed the prize, followed by first and second runners-up Wete Timero and No Ching, respectively. In women's senior, the first prize was won by Veko Luhu, followed by runners-up Imsu Benla. In the under-18 boys category, A. Mariko won the top prize, followed by Kenny Nguto and Heye Zipo, emerging first and second runners-up. In the under-18 girls category, Imti Sangla Kang Shuo won the race, followed by Roslyn Vaipai and Ken Yi Senyo and as the first and the second runners-up winners. In the under-16 for boys and girls, Vepuzo Sakamo won the first position in the boys category and Krotsuo Tsuham the first position in the girls category.